Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of Minecraft UHC Single Player Survival. Last episode, we got a bunch of blaze rods. Getting one step closer to getting that ender dragon. But we only have six ender pearls. Not good, not good. So what we're going to do today is farm some more endermen. I'm going to do a few things off camera probably because I don't think you guys want to watch me feed cows and chickens and... I basically just want to get that enchanting room completed so we can use our 34 levels. And uh, if you guys didn't notice, last episode there was actually uh, regen potions instead of healing potions. Well, on the way back to get those fire resistance potions, I encountered a ghast on the bridge. And he ended up dropping me a, a ghast here, so I made regen potions. I don't know why I said healing potions, but I was just so focused on getting that blaze rod. That, that blaze farm going that I just didn't even think about it but yeah I'm just gonna build across here and build, uh, build a bridge across because I don't want to keep pushing the horse across the water when we cross this thing because we're gonna be farming endermen out there because there's just there's just no desert anywhere I did some exploring off camera and I gave up about 30 minutes in I went pretty much straight down that way and there's nothing but forest and forest <laughs> and more forest there's really nothing but forest and snow biomes basically it's it's horrible absolutely horrid but yeah we're gonna make this really ugly bridge I don't know why I'm putting a guardrail on it but no I'm gonna make it three wide too why not but yeah Definitely gonna have, uh, hunt us some Endermen tonight. Oh, am I running out of blocks? There we go. And yeah, so I'm gonna do just a couple things off camera, and once night time comes, we're gonna hunt some Endermen. Yeah! Alright. Night number one. And we are not taking No Name with us because I don't wanna deal with them. Don't wanna deal with horses. Actually, what am I thinking? Let's take them. No, we're not. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. They're kind of a hassle to deal with. I think I'm, it's much easier to just get around on foot. But let's find them some Endermen up her. And I'm probably going to pause until I find one. Yep, I'm going to do that. Found one. But there is just a bunch of stuff over here. Spiders and such. Get off my platform, dude. I will deal with all the things. And I made a bunch of arrows, too. About 50 something of them. It took forever to dig up that flint. Dig up all the gravel. What the heck? Did he teleport away? Is he over there now? Yes, he is. That's good. At least he didn't go too far. At least he didn't go too far. Alright. Let's continue building this. We're probably going to be bothered by more zombies. Yes, maybe. Ooh, two! Sweet. Come on, other guy. Four, five. No drops. Three, four, five. Takes five hits. Dang spider. Jerk face. First potion. Down. Yeah. At least we got a pearl though. I think I want to go for at least three more. Let's try to go for three more. Yeah. Let's do that. Alright. I'll resume when I find another one. Found another one. But there is also a ravine here. So we're going to have to find a better spot to make a little thing. Find a clear area. Spider! You know what? I don't want to deal with you, man. And there's a zombie villager. Anything else? Another zombie? Let's see, let's make our thing right... Here, here's a good spot. Oh, man. What are you doing, guy? Oh. 
There we go. Just clear us up a little more. And deal with more zombies. I swear, like, just to kill one, I have to deal with all the other things nearby. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Wish I had a desert. Wish we were in a desert. I might just leave these stations up here. So I don't have to keep building them. It's starting to become a hassle. One, two, three. Come here. Come on. They really take a really long time sometimes to like aggro for some reason. Look, see now he's finally responding. Now he's starting to come. There's a creeper. Yes! Get out of my face. Get out of my face. And you're dead. Give me that XP. Alright. Another one around here, please. Let's check over this hill. Please be one or two. Man. Stop it. Stop. These guys do not want to leave me alone. My goodness. And there are no Endermen nearby. What a shame. What a shame. Oh yeah, also, uh, use all our bones to bone meal. Oh, there's one. Uh, to bone meal all of the wheat. So I can uh, feed the cows and slaughter them. And he gave me about a stack and three. Ooh, sweet. We got three is exactly how much we want. But I had to bone meal all the wheat so I can feed the cows and slaughter them. I think we have about 40 leather now, but we kind of want more sugar cane so we can produce more uh, paper. Because it takes three paper to make a book, and it takes three... what's it called? Man, stop it, guy. It takes three sugar cane to make one book. And we only have about 59, I think. So we're gonna need about three times the amount we have to finish off those books. It takes three books per bookshelf. We got four, we need 15 for a level 30 enchant. So we're looking at about 11. 11 times 3, 33 books. We have enough leather, we just need the... whatchamacallit? Paper. That's right, that's the name of it. So, we're gonna need 99 paper. And that is 99 sugar cane, so we need about 40 more. Yeah, awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna go, f I guess, look around for some sugar cane, or hopefully some grew. Because uh, I think we're almost ready to go look for that dungeon. Oh yeah, so I'll be right back. Alright, night is hitting again, and I planted a bunch more sugar cane around. Went around this side, a little bit over here too, and I think a little bit over here, I think, something like that. But I'm just trying to speed up the process of getting more of these. But I do have five bookshelves made, so I'm just waiting for the rest of these. And while it's nighttime, I guess I can just go ahead and farm more Endermen, because we're probably going to need extra pearls anyways to put into the... Uh, What's it called? The Ender Portal? There's three slots on each side, so it takes 12 slots of Ender Pearls, or Ender Eyes, I mean. Sometimes there's a couple of them in there already, but most of the time it's it's usually empty, so we usually have to provide them. But um, I realize that it usually takes about four or five Ender Eyes just to find the Ender Portal to find the dungeon so it's always good to have more so yes let's, let's farm some more endermen shall we and once again I'm gonna I'm gonna pause while I 
and if I find one, I will resume the video. Found one. But there's also a spider here. I'm getting better at killing the spiders without getting hit. Definitely. Let's try to get this guy. Where'd he go? I think he's behind that creeper there in the distance. Yeah, he is. There's also a witch here. wonder if he aggroes from this far. See me? Mister? Here we go. He's getting angry now. Should start heading this way. Maybe not. Guess he didn't get angry enough. There we go. See that mouth opening. Come on. Three, four, and five. Nope. Darn. What a bummer. Found two. Oh yeah. Clear the area. You know the drill. Three up. Make a little platform on the sides. Kill all the things around us. That platform should be good. Oh yeah, we can reach him from here. We don't have to waste some arrows. Just gotta get... Come on. Come out a little bit, guy. Alright, don't lose track. There's two there. Man, there's so many zombies. Oh well. Slay all the zombies. We got this. Oh, I think there's three. Perfect. And we got hit. But our armor's too good. So I think he was over this hill. Let's go grab this guy for... No. We don't want to lose these two. Yeah, these guys aggroed pretty easily. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And the dark one. Good, 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 good. Let's see if we can get this guy over the hill here. He may have teleported over there. That's why it looked like there was multiple. But hopefully he's over here. Oops. Oh, I guess we can leave that. No, go, go away. Go away. And missing, and missing again. There we go. At least he dropped me some arrows to compensate for my lack of skill. And this guy too, alright. Oh no. Yeah, it must... The Enderman must have teleported over this way or something. Because he is not over there. Alright, you know the drill, we're gonna pause and resume again once we find one. Well, it's daytime, so definitely no more Endermen gonna spawn. We only got one. Sad face, but oh well. We're gonna grab a sugar cane over here. This should be enough if we kill, or not kill, but harvest the rest of those, even if they're not grown over by our, our base over there. Should be enough. So I'm going to do that real quick, and once, I, uh, once I'm ready to place those bookshelves, I'll see you then. Alright, here we go. I think we're ready. Six there, and let's see, let's put this stack, make this a little bit easier. Alright, there we go, eleven. Eleven bookshelves. So let's place one... Let's get this in our bar here. See, I want to place eight here and eight here. No. Four on the bottom, three there. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen one behind. Just to make it look kind of kind of good, you know. We can leave that one as a wood block. Should be fine. And we're almost done. Actually, we can do six, eight. Hmm. Six, eight. It's 14, 15. Yes, yeah, do that. Let's put these wood blocks back here. Like this. 
Oh, oops. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Well, we're gonna have to remake this one. <laughs> See, like this. That's the thing about breaking bookshelves. You always have to replace the wood. There we go. That should be 15. And if we place something in there, it should be 30 levels. Yep. Perfect. Let's make a new bow. Three string. Something like this. And the reason we're chaining a bow with 30 levels is because we're going to be shooting the Ender Dragon mostly with bows because he flies around way too much. Alright. Let's hope for power 4, infinity, unbreaking. Eh. Not the best. We like unbreaking on that at least, but at least we got power 4. At least we got power 4. Should be able to 1-2 one, one, shot most things now. Alright. You know what? Let's convert these into ender eyes. It's 10. Alright. Sweet. So, we're going to use those to find the dungeon. Uh, I think I'm going to do a couple things around here. Probably enchant a new set of armor. Probably a new sword. Basically, I'm going to prepare myself for the journey to find that dungeon. So I realize once we find that dungeon, we're probably going to want to make a portal near there so we can quickly get back to our base if we need to. So I'm going to get some more uh, obsidian so we can make a portal. And the only place I know where I can get obsidian without having to go caving is to go find our portal that was near that little lava pit. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yep, traveling through the nether just to get some obsidian. So once I get that obsidian, I think we'll be ready. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen this? Oh no, don't go into the fire! Oh darn it. Well, there's some cooked chicken right there, but at least you got to ride the chicken for a while, right, little guy? That's pretty funny. I didn't know that could happen. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. <laughs> that is pretty funny. That's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to take a screenshot of this. <laughs> so, I went across the portal, and it is nighttime on the other side. So, I'm not going to be digging obsidian during the night. So I said, hey, why not dig up some uh, quartz, get some levels, since we got that fully functioning enchanting table now. So, here I am, digging up quartz. 15 levels already. Really didn't dig that much. Man, it gives you a lot, a lot of levels just for digging up quartz. Pretty nice. Yeah, probably need to find a gas too, so we can have a regen potion handy when we do encounter that dragon. Indeed. Look who decided to finally follow us. I f totally forgot about these guys. Come on, come on, let's, let's head back. But uh, it's still nighttime on the other side. And I just thought about this. I could just place a little spot to, uh, a little spot where I can just turn obsidian, or turn lava from the nether into obsidian. Because there's lava right next to my portal. I can just place the water down, go into the portal, grab some more lava, go back to the overworld, turn that that source into an obsidian block. Just rinse and repeat. Just keep doing that over and over. Ooh. Yeah, let's get more levels. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we're gonna take these guys back too. They've been uh just hanging out, I guess, on the other side of that portal. Do not touch this fire, guys. Please, please, please stay away from that fire. 
Okay, I'm gonna get these guys back there and get some more obsidian and uh, be right back. I want to show you guys exactly what I've been doing. You see here, I've been taking all the source blocks of this lava and it's just flowing all sorts of weird directions. Kind of doing its own thing. And I've been putting the lava right here. The water flows down to this. Just place it right there. Boom. Sit in. Yep. Did that about 13. I think it was the 14th time now. I don't know why I got that many, but... That's what I did. 14 obsidian. Yep. Alright, let's cover this back up. Alright, okay, I'm gonna do a couple things off camera. And oh, what? what how did you get into the. Are you hiding behind the chest guy? This guy, I think. It's this guy. This guy's got plenty of health, but this one over here almost died. Stepped in the lava or fire or something like two times, and its tail is almost all the way down under its legs. If you didn't know, the height of the tail tells you how much health they have left. And this guy pretty much, pretty much dead, almost. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna do a couple things off camera real quick, and we're gonna go and look for that dungeon. All right, I think we're ready. Made a new set of potions. Got our obsidian. Got our flint and steel. Made us a new shovel, and it is newly daytime, I believe. The sun just came up. So we have a full day to find that dungeon. Yeah, buddy. Alright, here we go. Looks like it's going in the north direction. And you're going to fall. Oh, cool, sweet. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, if you didn't know, you could just... Right click the eyes and they'll fly up towards the direction of the dungeon where the end portal is at. And once you get pretty much close, pretty much right on top of it, it will fly downward towards it. So you'll know to dig down there or if you might find a cave nearby there, it'll probably lead down to it. But there are just too many trees around here. I don't want to lose one of these eyes. So let's find another opening. We're just going to keep going north a bit. Maybe on top of this hill here. We'll do another try at it. I did not want to bring the horse because all of this forest. Okay, still going that way. Let's not take silly fall damage. Uh. Yeah, we'll just dig down. Where did it drop? There it is. Can safely get down here. Cool. Alright. This might take a while, so I'm just going to keep doing that. If I get close, i resume, especially since the video is getting kind of long here. So just give me a few minutes. It is just going to the water. Oh no. I don't hope we didn't lose this one. It is all the way. Oh my gosh, this water. So deep. We need to find a spot where we can get air. Here we go. Gonna have to walk around this ocean floor looking for this dang thing now. Oh, we didn't lose it. And we need some more air again. Actually, I think you can do this. Oh, we don't have an empty bottle. Oh, yeah, here we go. That works. Where are you, little guy? Great. I think we just lost one. Oh, well. What? There we go. That was silly. Alright, I guess I'm going to go across the water. Keep looking for it think we found it. It went down right around here, and I did use a boat, but a stupid squid ran into it, or I ran into one, so it broke. So I've been swimming, but I believe it is down here somewhere, because it floated down. So let's uh find a spot. Gosh, I'm going to run out of air. This is going to be bad. Oh, what is this? Oh, wow, it is 
poking out of the water, and we need air. Ooh, that's close. Wait, what? Look, I got air. Thanks, jerk. Alright, he's a potion already. Let's dig into this. We need to get inside the cave, please. Oh, shoot. We need to get in here. There we go. There we go. Let's get in here. There we go. We are inside. Oh no, there's these things. Let's just break this. Oh, get off me. Get off me. Break this spawner. Sweet. Oh man. Awesome. This is the end portal, guys. We found it. And I do not know why it is like this. That is really strange. There is no entrance to it. It's just in the middle of the ocean. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we have eight. So we need one more. How about that? So I guess I'm going to make a... I think the best place to make the portal will be right there. How about that, guys? Let me block this off. Let's put these blocks back. I thought I get a bottle of water. Oh, I must have filled it up with my empty bottle from that potion. Place that. There we go. Cool. Let's put some torches down. And usually this is like lava's flowing out of this. Usually these blocks are broken, but it's it's a pretty good shape here. I kind of like not having to go through a dungeon to find this. Kind of convenient. So let's make our portal right in here. And sweet. Gravel, water. Just stop it, please. There we go. Oh my gosh. Just just quit with this water. So yeah, I'm just gonna place this portal real quick. I don't think you guys wanna watch this, but I will resume when I light it up. Alright guys, just right down the coordinates of this beast. Put this thing up and we light her up. Alright. So yep, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this episode guys. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna travel back into the nether, go back to our place, and probably prepare. We need to get one more ender pearl so we can put that last one in there. Because if I do this, it should be one left. Yeah, this one right here. Just need one more. Yep, we're gonna do that next episode, guys. I'll probably do this off camera, I'll probably form this off camera and do a couple of things to prepare. And in the next episode, we're gonna kill the Ender Dragon. Oh yeah. Well guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.